Hi everyone, it's that time of the month again. Can't believe it's here already. It's actually come really quickly. So I got the um, I got the dispatch email yesterday, and it arrived this morning. So I'm very very happy that it's here already. Um, and those of you who are watch are regular watchers of this channel will know exactly which box I mean. <clears throat> um, for those of you who don't, it's the Natural Beauty box, which is here. So I'm just covering up my address there. So. It always comes like this every month, so just a, a normal kind of non-branded box, just a little sticker on. They like to let the contents do the talking and the contents are the reason why we buy it. So I'm more than happy for the box to kind of look um, nice and, and plain and uh, non-branded. So <clears throat> it's a monthly subscription containing natural beauty products. They're cruelty free. They're often vegan and every quarter they also do a plastic free edit. I believe this one, is plastic free but we'll, we'll obviously soon find out shortly and this is one that I get every month and I have been getting for oh, it'll be it'll be coming up to sort of I think four years now three or four years I've lost count but it's definitely been been a while and um, so I've just opened it up so what I, I did earlier there's a little um sticker that actually holds the box closed so I've already kind of just snipped that open just so that I can get into it nice and easily for you and the theme this month is breathe so there's a, a theme every month and <clears throat> it's a and the, yeah, this one is plastic free quarterly edition it says on the bottom there um, and all the items in there usually always really match the theme very well uh, breathe is quite a good one for January I'm sure we're we're all kind of uh, still recovering from the, the festive period, trying to make it through what feels like the longest month of the year um, and just need to take a minute to breathe. So it's a great theme for this time of year. And then there's usually a few different um, little discount cards or information cards about some of the brands that are featured inside the box. And there are a couple of them here, obviously. So not to spoil it, I won't show them yet, but when the brand that it's relevant to comes up, I'll of course pick the the um, card up as well and then I'll just kind of peel this sticker back here something smells amazing already and um, let me just move some of these uh, little cardboard shreds here so I can hold it up and show you so there's usually at least five items in there sometimes you might find a little bonus um, but usually there's at least five so here we go so you can see there's a few things that are buried <clears throat> under the little kind of shredded cardboard there so I'm going to keep this just to hand um so if you see me glancing down I'm, I'm reading from this there's information only about the products on the other side so I think the item that smells um nice this was one of the spoilers on their uh on their website on their Instagram sorry um is this candle by Geocentric um so it's wrapped in tissue at the minute and these are what the um little information cards are referring to so there's a 10% off um 10 percent off your first purchase discount code and then just a bit of information about how to take care of the candle and about their uh, social media handles so this is wrapped up very nicely in tissue paper so let's try and get into this without ripping everything which I'm sure you'll all know by now I'm not very good at here we go. Oh, I see. Look at that. So it's a diff it's kind of geometrically. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's definitely what I could smell. Oh, that's really, really nice. So this is, I believe, worth, yes, yeah, so this is worth £12. And this is their unwind candle. So it's made from soy wax. It has a cotton wick. And it's 100% pure essential oils of bergamot, lavender and lang lang. Um, and it obviously comes in this very modern design, um, which is designed to help you uh, breathe in, breathe in the um, essential oils and they're designed to be relaxing, which they very much are. So obviously it's got lavender in there. We all know what lavender is known for, um, but I love the smell of bergamot. So I can really smell that in there, which I'm very happy about. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Obviously, I will have to find something to put it on because there's no actual outer casing for the candle itself and I don't want the wax to get everywhere when I'm burning it um, but I've got a few little things I could maybe put it in so 
that is the first item it's worth 12 pounds i'm not sure if i mentioned that already but if i haven't there you go uh, and that's item number one and that is definitely what the uh what the smell was so i'm just going to kind of wrap that back up just just for now to protect it and then let's have a look so we've got this one next so this is a brand that so yeah geocentric as well are actually a brand that i haven't tried before but this is another brand i haven't tried um so a week organics and this is their sea quartz crystal and Al algae cleanser and this is again worth 12 pounds so this is a gentle natural and exfoliating cleanser for daily use and it removes dead skin detoxifies and brightens the skin so when you uh when it makes contact with the water it transforms into like a milk consistency and um, so it, it washes away very easily as well so let's have a look inside so it looks kind of like a, a gel um or a balm consistency when you first open it um i love a good balm cleanser um, and obviously even though it's only a little tub balm cleansers you don't tend to need a lot because when you um get like a pea-sized amount and distribute it that's enough that's more than enough and as you say then when you add the water to it it transforms into this more milky kind of texture which is much easier to to distribute around your face um let's see if it's got a scent to it oh it has so that's quite a quite a fresh scent quite a i'm just trying to see if it says in here what any of the um so there's coconut milk in there there's spirulina there's sweet orange um hemp seed so there's quite a lot of um, things in there that could be causing this um, mixture of smells. But very much looking forward to trying this. There is also, I don't know if you can see, the Leaping Bunny just there. Um, so that is the, I always look for that on any brands that lets me know that it's cruelty free and it has been certified cruelty free by the Leaping Bunny program. So that's very good to know because I will definitely feel comfortable using this. Um, and I love that it's a green colour as well. I'm going to feel like the Hulk when I'm using it. <laughs> Um, so that's item number two. So then we have, I'm going to grab this. This is a brand I'm very familiar with. Um, so this is Organi Everyday Organics. And this is their green tea and lime cream soap. And it contains organic shea butter as well. So this is worth £2.95. And it's a refreshing and zesty soap with a creamy lather. And it contains acne fighting green tea and skin softening shea butter. Uh, certified organic and vegan as well now and cruelty free um i think that is the is that the peta i think it is so that's another cruelty free um logo that you may see on some cosmetics i think that one's peta rather than the cruelty free international um i'm just having a look here just to see so yeah organic vegetable soap uh, and it's manufactured using the traditional art of soap making in open batch kettles containing natural essential oils, nourishing shea butter and extracts of green tea and lime, which are added to a cold soap after saponification, which is a nice long word for a Saturday afternoon, uh, to soften the skin naturally. So with Organi, I've used quite a lot of their items. I've used a few of their um, shower gels. I've used one of their hand creams and I'm currently using uh, their facial SPF. Um, which is the best facial SPF I've ever used. Um, so here is the bar itself. Definitely can smell that lime in there, but also you do get that hint of green tea as well. And I, I really like bar soaps. I prefer bar soaps to liquid soaps. Um, they last longer for one, um, but also they, they take up less space in the bathroom and they're better for the environment too. So, I've got a lot of bar soaps to get through, but I mean, they are an everyday essential, so they are something that I'm going to use. So I'm not complaining that I've got another one, particularly when it's from a brand that I'm really familiar with and have been impressed with all of their products so far, at least the ones that I've tried. Um, I'm definitely going to have to repurchase that SPF. Um, I'm running low and <laughs> I'm gutted because I really do like it. I think it came in this box, a previous edition, um, and I really do like it. And I've felt the same about all the other items from them as well. So looking forward to giving one of their bar soaps a go. So that's item number three. So then what else do we have here? Let's get this one. So this is another brand I haven't really heard of before. Um, Hairy Jane and this is their citrus shampoo bar which is worth nine pounds so this is natural cruelty free and vegan so it's 
pH balanced natural shampoo, which is free of soap, sulfate and palm oil. Cleanses and nourishes the hair and scalp with aloe vera and mango butter. And it also won a gold award in the Free From Skincare Awards in 2020. So uh, plastic free, sulfate free, preservative and palm oil free. So I'm sure I've said this before. Um, I have had a little bit of a love-hate relationship with shampoo bars. Um, I love the idea of them. I love... I want to love them um, however my hair not so much my hair is very very um, difficult in terms of the products that I use on it there's so many products that don't seem to suit my hair so many products that just don't really do anything for my hair as you can see I've got quite a lot of it and it's not it's not curly but it's equally it's not straight either um, so it's quite difficult to manage. I'm just unwrapping it as I'm, uh, as I'm rambling on. Um, so it, with shampoo bars, it can be very difficult because a lot of them unfortunately don't suit my hair. And as much as I would love for them to work for me, not really many of them have so far. So here's what it looks like um, as I've unwrapped it. it. Has a little bit of a different texture to other shampoo bars that I've tried before actually. Um, so maybe this one will be different, but it smells absolutely gorgeous. Very citrusy, um, which is not a problem. I love like lemon. That definitely smells like lemon. Um, definitely smells like lemon, <laughs> which I love. I love citrus smells. So not a problem. Um, and it came wrapped up in this little, feels like um, tissue or sugar paper. Um, so let me wrap this back up. So yeah, I mean, I'm still searching for that elusive shampoo bar that is going to work for my, my hair. Um, I still have a few more in my bathroom cabinet that I am yet to try. Um, and then I'll be adding this one to that collection as well. So I'm hoping with the ones that I have, um, there'll be one of them in there that will be my holy grail. Um, because it would be nice to be able to use things like this. Because again, they last much longer than your standard um, just your bottles of shampoo and conditioner um, again they take up far less space and they're much better for the environment as well and um, so here's hoping that this one will prove to be the one that I've been looking for so there's item number four and then the final item when I can dig it out here we are is so this is a brand that I have tried before tried a couple of their items it's Sintra Naturals and it's their body and face exfoliating cubes and these are worth 9.99 so obviously you can use them on your body or on your face uh, to scrub away dead skin cells and it contains gentle bamboo stem powder which is considered a natural alternative to a dim abrasion treatment um, it's got added apricot kernel and lemon seed oil for moisturizing and anti-inflammatory and rasool and kaolin clay to draw out impurities and cleanse effectively and it was also a finalist in last year's 2021 um, natural health and beauty awards so definitely an accolade there so yeah vegan with it's vegan and let's see what it says if there's anything else it's obviously going to be plastic free because they have come in a plastic free edit so ah, i see so there's four of them if I just hold that up there like that, you can see quite a decent size. Let's see if I can take one out. Yeah, so quite a decent size. Um, I better not mistake those for little red velvet brownies. Um, oh, they smell amazing. Again, a really nice smell. You can definitely smell that lemon seed. Gorgeous. Really, really nice. Um, I love things like this um, that I can use on different parts of my body. Multitasking products. Um, and I love this brand. I've, I've really enjoyed everything that I've tried from them before. So I'm hoping this will be the same. They smell really nice. They feel like they're going to be really nourishing on the skin just from kind of touching um, and holding that one up to show you guys. It, it was really, um, I could tell that there was a lot of goodness in it and it's uh, the smell. I can't even tell you how nice my kitchen smells at the minute just with everything that's out here. Uh, but that's the final item. So the total value of the box this month is £45.94. So in terms of what that means uh, for saving, um, if you were to subscribe to the monthly box um, on a rolling 
subscription basis, which is what I do, um, it will cost you £24.95 a month. So, I mean, you're getting almost double the cost um, of if you were to buy these items individually. Um, and if you wanted to prepay, you can prepay for three months, which is £71.10, or six months, which is £138. If you see a particular box that you like, but you don't necessarily want to um, commit to a subscription, or if you maybe want to try a box before you commit to a subscription, um, you can just purchase a one-off box for £25.95. I do believe this box in particular has sold out, um, which is not surprising and is testament to the amazing work that Emma does to uh, promote her box and the, the amazing brands that she works with. Um, but there may be times where you might be lucky and, and get your hands on one before it does sell out. Um, they also offer, you can subscribe on a bi-monthly basis, so you would obviously get a box every other month. Um, and again, you would just pay £24.95 every two months. You can also just subscribe to the plastic free editions. So they do a plastic free box every quarter. Uh, this is one of them. Um, and again, you would just pay the £24.95 every quarter. Um, they also do Lucky Dip boxes. They're not always available on the website, so you do have to keep checking. Um, but they are £12.95 and they contain usually, um, I think it's three, three or four items um, from past boxes. It's just like a selection of items that have been featured previously. And they were trialling. Now, this is my fault for not checking um, before I filmed this. Um, but just in sort of December, I noticed that they were trialling something called a pick and mix. There's a few boxes that offer this, um, else, you know, other subscriptions that offer this as well. Um, and I believe that they were doing this on a trial basis. Hopefully they may bring it in on a permanent uh, basis as well. Um, but the pick and mix box, you could pick uh, from different categories. So you could pick three items for £15 or four items for £20 and just kind of create your own box in a way. Um, all of those options, they do come with free delivery if you are in the UK as well. So let's quickly recap everything. So we have the uh, Sintra Naturals, the body and face exfoliating cubes. We had the Harry Jane shampoo bar. Gotta get it all back in again now. The Organi Cream Soap, green tea and lime scented. We had the um, Awake Organics Sea Quartz Crystal and Algae Cleanser. And this, just unwrap it again. This gorgeous cube geocentric candle, which just smells amazing. It's just making my entire kitchen smell beautiful. I'm just going to wrap that back up. This is why I don't wrap Christmas presents. I just use gift bags because, I mean, that is terrible, terrible effort. <laughs> so that's everything in the box. I'll just kind of hold up to show you now we can actually see them pop up. So there we go. That's everything inside. Um, again, another really good edit. And I'm actually surprised there's more brands in there that I haven't tried than brands I have tried, which is a rarity for me these days, particularly because I've been subscribing to this box for so long and I've been introduced to a lot of brands previously. Um, so one thing that I do like about this is while they may repeat brands, they never repeat products. Um, so even though, you know, I've tried items from Organi, for example, before, I've never had that soap, at least not in this box. Um, and the same with the Sintra, they've been featured in this box before, but not that particular product. So you, even though you are, you know, seeing same brands sometimes, you never really repeat a product in there. And then there's three brands that I'm yet to be introduced to. There's a couple I've heard of before, but never tried. So it's always nice to be able to, to give them a try and, and add them to your, if you're like me, vast growing collection of beauty products. Um, and as much as I only have, you know, one face and, well, I have quite a lot of hair, um, but it's still nice to have things to, to try out, new things to try out. It's like a little little present to yourself every month, particularly this month. I think we could all do with a little gift for ourselves, couldn't we? Um, and this is a box, as I say, I've been subscribing to it for so long now. You would think that I would be getting bored of it, but I'm really, really not. Like, there's still so much to be excited about with this box every month. They seem to just pull out all of these amazing themes and products and 
every time I open it, I'm still really happy with everything that's inside. You know, I've never looked inside once and been like, oh, that's a bit underwhelming. Even if there have been certain items that maybe I can't personally make use out of. So I, I know I've mentioned this before, but sometimes if bath salts or bath bombs get sent to me, I, I live in a flat that doesn't have a bath, it only has a shower. Um, so, but they're the things that I can pass on to other people so I can share you know, share the love, share the joy with them and, and they can discover new products. Sometimes I will keep bath salts and use them as a foot soak, but obviously that's something that I only do on a very rare occasion, unfortunately. Um, it's probably something I should do more. Maybe that will be one of my resolutions for this year. Um, however, you know, everything else that I've tried, I've never really had a product that I've disliked either. That's the thing. So while it's great to discover this, it's not so great for my bank balance having to repurchase all these items that I really like. But at the same time, it's so good to know how many natural brands and cruelty free brands there are out there. It just goes to show that you don't need to test on animals to make quality, very high quality beauty products. Um, which is, you know, again, testament to all of these brands that are out there doing all the hard work so that we can reap all the benefits from them. Um, so enough of my waffling. That's everything that I wanted to show you today. Once again, if you do subscribe to this box yourself, what was your favourite item this month? If you don't subscribe, what is your what is the item that intrigues you the most? What's the one that you would most like to receive in a subscription box? Um, let me know what you think of the uh, items in this month's box and I'm sure I will see you all very soon for another unboxing video but until then take care and uh, <laughs> let's, let's all get through the rest of January unscathed. Bye!